Oh, welcome to the urinals of Amsterdam. You know what? There's multiple ways to urinate in Amsterdam. We should go and investigate, but beware. There's a few risks. Let's have a look. <coughs> oh, well, it's midwinter here in the city and it's absolutely freezing. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate because that has an effect on uh, body functions. And if you happen to get caught short in the city, what do you do? Well, you know what? It's okay. We've got a few options. Of course we can go spend a penny or maybe a euro so it's just burst into a local cafe and uh, see if uh, they will allow you to uh, use the facility but uh, you're gonna have to buy something you know well that's fair enough <laughs> second option, of course, is to uh, pee in a canal. You know what some people actually do with tragic consequences? Yeah, approximately 15 people die a year from falling in the canals peeing. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> there are free public toilets here and there, like this one at Schiphol Airport. It even has a target to aim for. Really, some people actually do miss. Well, that was a hole in one. Wild urination comes with a fine of 140 euros, as well as being totally gross. At Mediamatic, they encourage the collection of the yellow rain and have even set up this artsy display to help you relieve yourself. They use the PP as fertilizer for the hydroponics and then serve it up in their vegan restaurant. Hmm. Animals can wild pee, but not wild poop. So dog owners do have to keep plastic bags with them at all times. Ooh. Well, option three is use a public urinal. Sorry, girls. More on that later. Oh my God, there is actually a number two in here. Urinals were created to curb public wild urination, which is a major problem. Also have pop-up toilets, the uni lift that actually pops up from underground, again with tragic consequences. Oh, watch out! People and objects have actually been launched into the air when one malfunctions. Modern public urinals, I think, were actually a modern French invention and first appeared in Amsterdam around the 1880s and then were created actually to curb the wild urination which is a major problem in the city. This, ladies and gentlemen, it's curved like the golden ratio or golden something else. The colour is everywhere. Ooh, it's cold! De Krul means the curve, which is a clever design of these pissoirs. There are 35 krulls dotted around the city. The curve is actually designed to offer privacy and convenience, as well as representing a flaccid member. And the next one we have here is a little bit of a double whammy. Here we have a double-sided krull, like this one outside the Vestikerik, near the Anne Frank house. It also became well known for other reasons too, something the city once tried to curb. Meanwhile, in London... Well, of course there's uh, public toilets around the world, everywhere. Like here in London, Spitalfields, there's a toilet here, public access. Well, this is actually a nightclub now. Well, this always helps. At least there's a bathroom here. But I think in Amsterdam we actually have more public conveniences per square kilometre than anywhere else in the world. Order! Order! And after a couple of pints I found most London conveniences were actually not that convenient. Oh, you're kidding me. You know what? Back to Amsterdam. On the famous Amsterdam Tower Bridge, yeah, we got one too. Mine's the tower, that is. We have the usual green crawl. However, under this, the oldest surviving bridge in the city, there was once a big public toilet. It was originally a prison under the tower, but has become many things over the years, including the public conveniences. In 1878, it was listed on a map as one of the 17 meeting locations for wronged lovers. 
In the 1860s, there were 27 prosecutions for wrong lovers, but ballooned over the next couple of decades to 127 arrests by the late 1890s. The advantage of these public toilets was the convenient wooden steps leading down. Back then, people wore mostly wooden shoes, clogs, and then the heavy sound of wood and wood would alert the lovers if anyone was coming, and they would escape round the back. Look at that huge erection there. Now this is a fascinating crawl. This was built in 1927 and the sculpture you see here on top is actually sculpted by Hildo Krop who uh, was part of the whole Amsterdam school movement and uh, did a lot of statues around the city. This urinar is a listed rights monument, a perfect example of the celebrated Amsterdam school architecture. It's made with natural stone with a brick grid and flat stone roof. It's a great rain shelter but it absolutely stinks. There are other ways you can relieve yourself in the city, but some things are really a big no. The public urinals are suitable for guys, but what about the girls? Out of the 35 we have in the city, three are deemed woman-friendly. In 2017, during a prosecution of a woman arrested for wild urination, she was told by a judge, you can always make use of the urinals. It's difficult, but possible. That sparked an outrage, and some of the women did protest and publish amusing images of themselves using acrobatics to make a point. So if you do get caught short in the city while you're here, you now know what the safest options are. I hope you did like my silly little video, and if so, you can like, comment, and even subscribe for some more, if you dare. Watch out where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow snow.